Okay, ideal fasting insulin. So I'm gonna tell you my preference for fasting insulin, and I'm also gonna talk about why this can be super tricky. And this is definitely gonna fall into the unpopular opinion category. However, this is also gonna be based on my clinical practice and what I see in actual practice on actual lab results in many, many scenarios. So optimal level that I look for for fasting insulin is gonna be two to six. So there are some cases where two might be a little bit low, but that's very contextual and nuanced depending on the individual person. So I do like to just say two to six is what I look for as far as optimal. Said here's where it gets a little bit tricky, and that is that I have many clients who are stalled with weight loss who actually test with a perfect fasting insulin score between the numbers of two and six, like I mentioned, that cannot lose weight. They also may have blood sugar dysregulation, like high fasting glucose or high A1C, and a perfect fasting insulin. Many will say that that is not possible, but I can tell you that I have seen this countless times in my practice over the last 17 plus years as far as fasting insulin goes. So with that being said, other hidden factors can be leptin resistance, can be other inflammatory markers, can be leaky gut. The list goes on as far as weight loss resistance and what can be affected if fasting insulin is perfect and someone is not able to lose weight. So all of those hidden factors are what I work with my clients diligently on, looking at all kinds of different functional testing, looking for optimal test results, correlating all test results together, because much of testing, blood work, functional testing, is actually in the lab interpretation. So I have had countless clients over the years tell me that they've been to many other practitioners, even functional doctors, even functional medicine practitioners, and they are really left with no answers. And the other, the other thing that I see is that then, based on whatever their tests are, they're given a long list of supplements no rhyme or reason for why they're taking them. No start and end, well, there's a start date. No end date for when they should finish. Not any reasoning on the purpose for taking them and much more. That is not how it should be done. My clients are given phases to work through different things, strategies for the different phases and supporting documentation on why they're taking what they're taking, what they're working on, detox strategies and other strategies to optimize their bodies throughout the different phases and tons more. So if you're struggling with weight loss, if you're struggling with fat loss, if you're struggling with body recomposition, if you're struggling with all of the information out there that it's just too overwhelming and you can't figure out what is best for you, if you have been to every practitioner on the planet, if you've been to functional doctors and they're not giving you the answers that you're looking for, I can help. Clients in my weight loss accelerator group have lost anywhere from three to four to five to 14 pounds over the seven weeks that we work together. It is a group program. You get the benefit of both group program coaching and individual coaching within the program. My one-on-one -on -one clients have lost anywhere from five, 10 to 70, 80, 90 pounds, depending on the individual person and what their goals are. So if you're struggling, definitely feel free to reach out.